Tonight we are getting a much clearer picture of the confusion, shock and ultimately horror. The night doctors found a newborn dead in a New Mexico hospital trash can. They say that baby's teenage mother, Alexi Treviso, delivered him in secret in the hospital bathroom and left him there. Eddy County deputies arrested Treviso in early May for murder and tampering with evidence charges. But Lauren Green looked through hours of newly released video showing us what happened that night at the hospital. And you're also going to hear from the doctors, nurses and custodial staff who discovered this tragedy. It was a glory bloody massacre mess. I've dealt with death before, but never like this. Right. You know, like it was horrible. My job is to save lives and I had no chance on that baby. This is what staff members at Artesia Hospital recall after 19 year old Alexi Treviso allegedly gave birth in an emergency room bathroom and left her newborn in a trash can. Staff members say Treviso went to the hospital for stomach pain, but ultimately denied knowing she was pregnant. And while getting treatment, Treviso said she needed to go to the bathroom, where she locked herself inside for at least half an hour. She said, yes, I'm fine. I'm just having a hard time going to the bathroom, is what she replied. So I was like, okay. And then as I will push the call light if you need anything. And then I just kept hearing paper towel dispenser. Eventually, hospital staff told her they were going to unlock the bathroom if she didn't come out. That's when Treviso came out on her own, and hospital staff had a janitor clean up the mess left behind. Minutes later, you can see that janitor needing comfort after finding a dead baby boy tied up in a bag in the bathroom trash can. So it had like a fresh liner inside, so we didn't think nothing of it because we looked. So we, when I pulled the liner out, there was like paper towels. She had it tight, like she, because it, it was the, the top was twisted, mm -hmm. and then like tucked under like so it wouldn't open up and then when I picked it up that's when I noticed it even more because all I saw was black and purple but once we picked it up like the bag suctioned to his face. Investigators questioned one nurse about how Treviso was acting after they told her what they found. We discovered a dead baby in the bathroom. And she really wasn't even crying tears she was just and the only thing she was upset about was that I think she was going to be in trouble with her mother. And that same nurse seemed to be perplexed and angry at how Treviso and her family reacted to what happened. No one asked me anything about the baby's condition, if it was a boy or a girl, anything. That's so unbelievable to just the story alone, but then to, to walk us through that. Yeah. Uh, Lauren Green obviously with us now. So Lauren, there's also video, uh, we saw a little bit of it there where doctors confront Treviso and, and her mother uh, about finding the baby. Yeah, Tessa, we shared that before back in May actually mm -hmm. and she starts crying and telling her mother she didn't know what to do and mm -hmm. she also refers to the baby as it saying yeah. it wasn't crying or anything. The case is quickly gaining a lot of attention, both in the state, but nationally as well. In fact, we saw some of the videos that Lauren just showed with you on, on TikTok. Yeah, that's exactly right, Tessa. Tessa true crime mm -hmm. podcast and videos are huge right now yeah. on the app, and some of the people behind them are looking into this case right now. Some of these videos have hundreds of thousands, even millions I saw today of views and interactions on TikTok. In fact, there's some videos of this night on social media that have yet to be released to us. Now, yeah. a judge released Treviso in jail in from jail in May and she's awaiting her trial later this year in October. That's we'll be we following every uh, part of this case, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Lauren, thank you.